Hey, what's going on, people? My name is Terrell Andretti, and I'm the Narx Nemesis. If you're watching me on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. That helps YouTube's algorithm push out this content and get it out to more people. Somebody liked it for you, so make sure you like it for somebody. Um, <clears throat> if you need a one-on-one, -on -one, the link is in the description. Also, I know they have Monday through Friday and stop at 5 o'clock. Um, if y'all need sessions over the weekend or after business hours, um, send me an email or let me know down in the comments. That way we can set something up because I do do them after business hours and on the weekend per request. Um, if y'all want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description. Also, make sure y'all go check out my new single, Superstition. It is available on the channel but it's on uh, all streaming platforms as well. It's about my narcissistic experience. It's about surviving my narcissistic experience. And I would love to share it with you guys and get y'all's feedback. I'm gonna keep telling y'all until y'all run the numbers up. So go check out Terrell Andretti, Superstition. Um, but anyway, today we're gonna talk about basically nothing that they do will ever make sense. I know y'all are probably looking at, well, they said this, but they did that. They did this, but they said that. Why would they do this before they do that? Or why would they say this before they do that? And the reason is so they can, so they can cause you to ask questions. So they can cause you to question, are you really doing the right thing by leaving them? Are you really doing the right thing by moving on? Are you really doing the right thing by staying? Are you good enough? Did they really mean it? Do they know what they're doing? And see, by you asking all of these questions, it causes you to remain indecisive. And when you're indecisive, you're always gonna make the decision that seems the safest. At the time, while you're with them or going through the bullshit with them or just coming out of the bullshit with them, they seem like the safest decision because they've been the most consistent decision that you have made to stay with them. They know this. They know if they can convince you to ask questions, they know by human nature you're going to want answers. And you're gonna want the answers from them. So what that's gonna cause you to do is keep them in your orbit or at arm's length or even in the situation with them so that they'll be available to give you the hope of getting those questions answered. Because if you really think about it, they never really answered anything. Every time you ask them a question, the answer that they give you pisses you off more than not having one at all. Either that or it doesn't make any sense. And they do that strategically. Because if they can keep you in a state of confusion, if they can keep you in a state of not knowing yourself, they can keep you under control. Because if you're asking questions, you're asking questions and you're not getting a clear answer, you're going to stay because you're going to convince yourself, okay, well, they'll give me an answer later. Or, well, if they didn't love me, they wouldn't be here with me. Or if they didn't love me, they wouldn't still be talking to me. Or if they didn't love me, they wouldn't, you know, they, they, they'll still, they wouldn't still be here or whatever. It's not the case. People cannot want shit to do with you, but if you have a benefit to them, they will keep you around. They will play a role. I've seen this in not only relationships, y'all got me doing this Barack Obama shit, better healthcare, y'all got me doing that shit. I've seen it in relationships and I done seen it with friends. Certain friends will see me doing music, they'll see me working out, they'll see I'm good with the ladies or whatever the case is, and they'll see, okay, well, I don't like him, but I know if I hang around him, the ladies like him, so I'm gonna stick around. I know if I hang around him, he's doing music, so he's introduced to a, a larger crowd and they have benefits or whatever, so I'm gonna stick around. 
And when they figure out they can't get any benefits, they'll leave your ghost. They'll get rid of you. Or they'll go branch off over here to this person that they think can get them further or they'll get more benefits out of, but they'll still keep you at arm's reach just in case you make it or just in case that shit that they did over there don't work out. I've seen it. And then another thing, y'all got to stop doing. Stop thinking that your feelings are facts all the time. Don't your feelings are valid, but they are not always fact. And what I mean by that is I can sit here and tell y'all why they're doing this, that, and the third. But because you feel like they're doing it for another reason, you're gonna believe that reason over what I'm telling you. Stay your ass off their social media because what you see on there. It's going to strike up feelings. What you see on there, you're going to feel like, oh, well, they're moving on. Oh, well, they're happy. Oh, well, I just feel like they're going to give this person the person that I've been trying to get them to be forever. That's not the case. Because I'm going to tell you what, a nar narcissistic personality disorder does not allow them to be consistent. I'm going to tell y'all this again. Narcissistic personality disorder does not allow them to be consistent. Because you have to look at how they were with you. The only thing that was consistent was the stupidity. They might act good for two or three days. And you had to roll the dice on that. But you can bet your bottom dollar that they're going to act stupid before the fucking week is over with. That's consistent. They cannot be positively consistent for long periods of time because that's not who they are. That's why they got to ghost you sometimes because they got to go get some of that stupidity out their system. And come back because they got to recharge. They are not... That their disorder is going to override. I'm trying to get y'all to understand this. Their disorder overrides any want for them to want to act correctly. Their disorder overrides any want for them to treat you like you want to be treated. Their disorder is going to override them making you happy. And what I'm saying is their disorder is undefeated. And what I mean by that is their disorder is going to beat them every time. That's part of their karma too. They can't beat that. You can because you can detach yourself from them and you can detach yourself from their disorder. They can't do that. So if the disorder is undefeated and they haven't took time to change, they haven't made they haven't uh accepted accountability. What time did these jackass Supremes with extra cheese have to work on themselves in order to go give this other person the life that you wanted? None. It does not work like that. I tell people Change takes work. That's why a lot of people don't fucking change. Because a lot of people do not want to do the work. People are lazy by nature. That's why everybody always talking about shortcut, sh shortcut, shortcut, shortcut. For healing, for change, for accountability, there is no shortcut. It's either you're going to do the work or you're going to stay insane. You're going to stay the same, stay insane. In their case, hell yeah, they're going to stay insane. It's either you're going to do the work or you're going to stay the same. And people do not change until staying the same is more painful than changing. The narcissist rather stay the same because it's comfortable for them. And they're so fucking 
dumb that they don't realize them staying the same is the thing that's hurting them. Not their actions. They don't understand that. They think the shit that they're doing is helping them out. That's what's really fucking them up. They don't get that concept because they don't have the ability to accept accountability. You cannot learn from your mistakes if you don't accept accountability. When people go to drug rehab, what's the first what's the first step to recovery? Admitting you have a problem. You know why? Because if you don't admit you have a problem, what effort are you going to put to solve a problem that you feel like you don't have? It don't work the way that y'all are thinking. Y'all are thinking these people are going off to live these spectacular fucking lives. And it might look like it from time to time on social media. That's why I tell y'all stay the fuck off of there. And proof in the pudding is when you lose your job, do you post that on social media? Fuck no. If somebody give you something and you got to go to the clinic, do you post that on social media? Fuck no. If somebody kicks your ass, do you post it? Nah, somebody else going to post it. The point I'm trying to drive home is people don't post their failures on social media. That ain't how it works. So why would they post the bad times on social media for you to see? And I keep trying to tell y'all they post a lot of this shit because they know you're going to go to their page. They know it. Why? Because several people before you have done this. And also you've done it already before. Narcissists go off of previous behavior. They lack the ability of foresight. That's why when you do some shit off the grid, like ignore them or leaving their ass, it throws them for a loop because not too many people have done it. I'm not telling y'all this shit just to have something to say, just to make a video. This shit is ironclad. I'm telling y'all this shit because I've seen it. Some of y'all might have dealt with y'all narc longer than I have. Some of y'all been married, have kids, whatever the case is. It's the same narc. I just figured that motherfucker out earlier than a lot of y'all. And I remembered who the fuck I was and I got the fuck out of there. These people do not determine your worth. You do. The good Lord does. They don't even know who they are. So why would you let somebody tell you who you are and they don't know them? Snap out of it. Because a lot of y'all are still stuck in the reality that they cre created for y'all to live in. Excuse me. There's only one reality, but they try to convince you that their alternate reality is fact, and it's not. That's the world that they have to live in to function. And if they live in it and function in it, it is designed to destroy you because they cannot operate in a reality where you know who you are and you stand up for yourself. Because if you do, their effects and who they are does not fucking exist. And I'm telling you, because that lady does not exist to me. It's not because I'm ignoring her. It's not because of this, 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 and this. It's because I know who I am. And you do not have an effect on me anymore now that I know who I am. The damage might be done, but what you've done has no government here. What they've done should not have any government towards the life that you're trying to live and you're building towards. They were just an experience that you needed to propel you to the next level. Them motherfuckers don't exist. Not in your reality.
They don't have no power in your reality. That's why they have to create one for you to exist in as a subordinate to them. Y'all keep listening. I'm going to learn you. You can't tell me nothing about these motherfuckers. You really can't tell me nothing about people, period. That's why I don't hang around motherfuckers because I know a lot of people's nature. That's why I tell y'all it's hard to find good people. So for y'all to sit here and think that they just finna magically go find somebody out of the blue after they done did you wrong and not have no karma coming. Oh, trust me, karma is coming. I didn't experience karma and I done been karma. And it's coming. It might not come when you want to, but it is the law of the world. I forgot the topic of this video, but it's something that y'all needed to hear. And I'm not doing this to pick on anybody. I'm doing it out of love because I was once where you are. I was once where you guys were. And I'm not even completely just healed. I'm still healing. I'm working on healing as I'm helping to heal y'all. But y'all got to remember, these people ain't shit. They wasn't shit when they met you. They ain't going to be shit after you're gone. They actually going to get worse. Y'all got to start back believing in yourself and believing what you're capable of. Some of y'all, if y'all are insecure, it's cool. Work on that. Do the work. Focus on that, not them. Do the work. It's hard, but it, it's beautiful. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Do the work. Get off your ass before I come find you. But look here, man. Y'all like, hit the button right now. Boop, like. I'm trying to get at least a 1,000 likes on every video. And the reason is so, this vi so these videos can be pushed out, you know, uh, to a bigger platform so we can help more people out. Um, if you need a one-on-one uh, -on -one this weekend or anything like that, um, even next week, whenever you need a one-on-one, -on -one, um, send me an email because I don't think it lets y'all book um, after hours or over the weekend. Let me know in the comments if you need a one-on-one. -on -one. I'll give you my email. Or if you already have my email, um, it should be down below. But shoot me an email. Let me know something. I'll get you taken care of. Um, if y'all want to donate to the channel, the link is in the description as well. Um, go check out my single superstition y'all are gonna love it it's a pop song i'm on there singing my ass off and doing my thing it's about my ex narc about my situation me overcoming it and it features a hoover for my ex narc trying to get me to come back and i ain't going for it um those of y'all that are just subscribing welcome to the family those of y'all that have been rocking you know i appreciate y'all thank y'all for all the donations i greatly appreciate it Thank y'all for the prayers. It's greatly appreciated. I do skim through the comments from time to time. I may not answer everyone because I'm moving around, but I do see y'all, and I do appreciate it. Much love to y'all. Another day, another way. And you ain't got to listen, but I know you heard me.